Hey, John here. I'm just working on wrapping up this uh, PC board, this breakout board that I'm designing. And I noticed something here I'm doing. I probably should mention in one of these videos, so why not make one here? What I'm working on right now are labeling every one of the signals on these pins down here, rather than just calling it one, two, three, four, and five, and having to look it up constantly whenever I want to use it. What I'm doing is I'm putting the name of the actual signal next to these pins. The numbers don't matter at all, really. This is just going to go into a, uh, a breadboard anyhow. And all I want to know is which, which you know, port GPIO port number one, signal number seven. That's what these this notation means to me. That's what I want to have on all these pins. So a couple of things. Uh, one, uh, there's that. How can you conveniently put all these things around your board without typing and resizing constantly? It's a giant pain in the butt. Maybe, maybe one of you has a better idea <laughs> than what I'm about to show you. I'd love to know. Uh, the other one is this uh, copyright thing here. It's open source, but I just put a copyright on there anyway. You know, a little vanity. Uh, this C in parentheses. I've always done this this way. Every board I've ever made, uh, I would like to put the proper circle C in there. I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's close this down. Here's my board. Uh, let's let's first do the copyright thing here. Edit this. So I got a two-line uh, text here with uh, this width and height. And I'm left justified. That's why this lines up over there. By default, it's centered. Uh, this C right here is is the culprit. If you go grab yourself a web browser, the point is you can put uh, Unicode in here if you can uh, somehow type that right. So if you look this up on Google, which is right here, just Google for Unicode copyright symbol or something like that. And you'll see this circle C show up. Anyhow, that's all you need to do is get a copy of one somewhere and grab it. And you can paste it in here like this. And you're good. So if you say okie dokie, now you got the fancy little circle C in there. I got my spacings a little off. There you go. Ta-da! Save. All right, so I got that going for me. Now, about all these little labels in here, I've got my grid set up pretty high so I can get them where I want them. I'm down to five mils. And what I do is I tinker around with font and width and all that stuff until it looks about right to me. Then what I do is I just make copies of these and keep editing them. Because as long as you hit, you select it like this, you hit control C to copy, click on it, and then you hit a control V like this. Now what's gonna happen is, the snap to grid is screwed up for some reason. Actually, that one looks pretty good. I usually put them down over here like this. And then I hit E to edit this. So uh, I can look at the signal here. This is 0, 6. I should put an underscore in here because that's the notation that the manufacturer used for this part. But the period, uh, to me, looks nicer, and it is variably kerned, so this is a shorter amount of text so when you get to you know multi-digit pin numbers and stuff it doesn't use so much space up so i like using the dot so this is zero six as far as i'm concerned and you go like this alrighty now when you type that in the, okay let's start over again i click this to select it i hit e it's all lit up if i start typing it'll replace the entire thing which is fine, but I only want to do six. So I hit a right arrow, I backspace, I hit six. Now I hit tab, and then I hit OK. All right? Now the reason I hit tab was not because I want to click on OK. I can keep pasting the same thing in over and over again. Edit, right arrow, backspace, seven. If you hit tab, I don't have to click on OK. I can just hit Enter, OK? And then I can hit M, and I can move the final version in place. Now, there's two reasons I move these things around. I don't put it where it's supposed to be before I edit it, right? If you're going to edit, oops, I want to say paste another one in here. If I'm going to change it like I am right now to a two-digit number, let's see what happens if I put it in place before I edit it. Right arrow. Now, this is 1.11, so I actually want to replace all of it like so. If you hit enter right now, it goes like this. You don't want to do that because that puts the carriage returns in the message itself. That's why I put the tab to here. Then I hit enter. 
And because it's centered, actually, that looks okay. If it was left justified, it would change its width and move itself around. I also find that sometimes, for some reason, when I'm pasting it during a copy, it doesn't necessarily snap to the same grid it does if I'm moving it around, which right now it does. So keep that in mind. If you can't get it to go where you want it, move it and then move it again. Sometimes it needs to be jarred a little bit in order to get itself uh, into the grid alignment stuff. All right, so this one's 0 0.8. Now the order on these is screwy because I wanted to fan all the pins out so I don't have to overlap all of these signals. Plus they're a little bit out of order on the, on the actual chip anyway. So you've got, uh, where am I, on the 08 that's next to the 111, which is next to 07 anyhow. So the chip... Uh, Pins are in a wonky order as well as, uh, you know, these pins down here. So really, that's just about it. Copy, paste, edit. Uh, which one's this guy? He's 09. Oops. Tab, and then hit Enter. Paste again. He's 010. Tab, Enter. Paste again. Now the reason I copied these is because if I don't copy them, what happens is if I start over, I'm starting over again with these other fonts and stuff like that. So here's 0 0.12. If I just place this down, you can see it's, it's giganto sized. I just want to use the settings that I had before and just keep copying these things around and editing the text. So here's 0 0.12. Tab, OK, paste, and this one's going to be 013, tab, enter, save. And you can see the job goes a little bit faster. That's the rhythm that I use. If you got any other ideas, uh, I more than like to love to hear them, because this usually is one of the time-consuming parts of getting this board all laid out. All right? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.